New now at 4.30, the head men's basketball coach at Concordia University is out, fired. It's the latest in a story we broke earlier this month when six of his players were hospitalized. Four trainers later quit. CBS 2's Sarah Maki was the first to report the controversy and now has parents' reaction to this latest development. I thought we could overcome this and make it through, and it just keeps <laughs> going downhill. That's Ryan Collicott's reaction after learning that Concordia head basketball coach Steve Kohler is out. The final decision announced exactly three weeks after Ryan's son, Jacob, was hospitalized with a diagnosis including rhabdomyolysis, when muscle breaks down and enters the bloodstream, often after extreme physical activity. Five more players would follow, as did allegations of retaliation. Some saying Kohler put the team through a punishing workout December 31st when they missed curfew after a tournament in the Los Angeles area. The kids are not held accountable in any way, shape, or form. Uh, and they're not even supposed to be. It's actually illegal to punish the children, which I think is crazy. Students and parents were told of the coaching change up in an email that went out on Monday night. It said that significant new information has recently come to light. But we asked what that meant, and we were told by the school it's confidential and they could offer no further explanation. I don't think the school's been as transparent as, as they need. Dad Allen Hatton says he has mixed feelings about the school's decision, but he does have concerns about their communication, including, he says, an offer to watch video of that December 31st practice that never came through. If the kids hadn't hadn't missed the curfew, this probably would, would, would have happened. But, the, you know, hindsight's 2020. In a game with winners and losers, Hatton says this has been a no-win situation. At Concordia, Saramaki, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Sarah.